Welcome back to Underwater Math. Today we are going to use benchmark fractions to evaluate sums and differences of fractions. You might be asking yourself what a benchmark fraction is, and that is a great question. Benchmark fractions are easy to picture fractions such as one half, one fourth, three fourths, and one third. It's easy to think about half of something, and one fourth is just half of one half. Three fourths is three equal fourths of a number or object. One third is if you cut something into three equal pieces. Benchmark fractions are used to help us make estimations about size of parts. Let's try this out. This is my friend Mika. She ate three sevenths of the cookies we baked. Mika, about what fraction of the cookies would you say you ate? More than half or less than half? Good question. Seven is an odd number, so it's trickier to split it in half. I know half of eight is four and half of six is three, so half of seven must be 3.5. Three is less than 3.5, so I ate less than half of the cookies. Great job. You can also think that seven is greater than six and three is half of six, so it can't be more than half of seven. After cookies, we shared some watermelon. I ate one ninth of the watermelon and Mika also had one ninth. About what fraction of the watermelon did we eat together? One fourth, one third, or one half? First, let's calculate how much watermelon Mika and I ate in total. Mika, what is one ninth plus one ninth? Since the denominators are the same, we can just add the numerators. One ninth plus one ninth equals two ninths. We ate two ninths of the watermelon. Thanks for helping me solve that. Two ninths isn't quite one half, because half of nine is 4.5. One third of nine is three, and two ninths is less than three ninths. Since one fourth is a little less than one third, we can say two ninths is closest to one fourth of nine. Mika and I think you are ready to do this on your own. Have fun!